Well, it's absolutely fantastic for National Glass Centre to be shortlisted for the Family Friendly Museum Award, mainly because it's it's voted for and it's it's sort of nominated by families themselves. And uh, you know, we're really excited that uh, lots of families come and visit the, the Glass Centre. They take part in the activities. They enjoy just being there, seeing the glass making demonstrations, which are always really exciting for kids. And uh, yeah, it's just fantastic for us to to get that accolade and. and on a national stage in a way to be reminded that you know right up there in Sunderland we're doing fantastic work with families and uh, getting loads and loads of visitors. We were extremely surprised when we were shortlisted for this incredible award it's the first time we'd ever gone for it and to be shortlisted on our first time was absolutely amazing it means so much to myself all the um, members of staff in the uni in the Egypt Centre and also to our hundred plus volunteers as well it's a huge achievement that we're all very proud of the importance for us is that it's families that are coming to town that have nominated us that have got us this far um, and so hearing from them that we are a welcoming place, that they can bring their children and young people, is what's most important. To be on the shortlist is absolutely brilliant. Um, it was amazing to, to think that, that people cared enough about us to, to nominate us and uh, to be here with such great museums as well. Um, it's just great. Thrilled, particularly because it's the uh, an, an award that's voted for by children and their families. Um, so it really is so much more meaningful than something that's voted by a panel of professionals. Uh, and that's really the strength of, of Kids in Museums as an organisation, is that it, it represents our audiences and they're the ones that we all do it for. We're really over the moon to be nominated um, for this award. Everyone at Hampton Court Palace and Historic Royal Palaces. And it's because young people choose this award. So it's really listening to them. And it's not just in recognition of one thing. It, it really means the entire organization has pulled together. It's the capital projects. It's all the experiences, the events, the layered interpretation, the retail, the catering, operations, the facilities, really the entire organization. And that's what being shortlisted means to us. It's a validation that all that hard work is really going in the right direction and motivation to carry on. You know, talking to people from the other museums and galleries shortlisted, we're, now, we're part of a network. You know, we know people, we can pick up the phone, we can ask them, we can go and see their programs and learn from them and talk about what we're doing ourselves. So it, it is a family in itself. So I think that's really a great benefit to, to museums and galleries. And of course, it's, you know, it's, it's, the credit, it's the credit that goes with it. We're shortlisted, we're up there, uh, we're doing different things with families, and you know, I think that's a wonderful thing to be part of. so much is because it was the very 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 first thing that kids and museums when it didn't really exist was just a name we ever did and the reason we first did the award is because of course kids and museums came out of families not feeling quite right in museums and what we thought is immediately what we've got to do is put a big spotlight on what you're doing right every the fantastic excellent things that you're doing for children young people and families so we wanted to immediately say let's Let's, let's look at what's good. And what and thrills me so much is that that is still there. That's still at the heart of what we're doing. It's not saying, oh, this is right, but looking at what you're doing excellently and putting it out there because so many of you are doing such great stuff. The name of the winner is in the envelope, but before I draw it out, I just want to say it is, of course, a very special day and a very special award, one that we're very proud of. At Kids in Museums, and it's special because, as you have heard, it is the biggest museum award in Britain that's actually judged by families. And the winner is York Art Gallery. Yeah. Rian, Gabby, congratulations. What does it mean to win this award? 
it's really great to have the validation of our audience. I mean, that's what's so fantastic about this award is that it's the families themselves that have nominated us and, and come to visit us and tell us what it is that they like about us, which is good, isn't it? It's fantastic. And it's validation for our staff, right through from Gabby, who's been critical, but also our front of house staff, our curatorial staff. Everybody cares about art and more importantly about engaging people with the art. And we you know we love our visitors. We see that we want to welcome them into the warmth of the gallery. And um, I think this award is testament to that. Congratulations, well done. Thank you.